Today I'm working on a 2009 Audi A4. This one has a 2 liter engine and uh, as you can see it's running terribly. Um, when I scanned it for faults, the only faults stored are lean running fault, air intake fault, and uh, misfires on every cylinder. So I'll show you a, um, a quick way to diagnose if what you have going on is related to a crankcase leak like a rear main seal or if it's something unrelated. It's pretty easy to do. So all I've done is obviously shut the car off, pull this line that supplies vacuum to the crankcase um, breather valve or the uh, oil separator. There's a lot of different names for it, but this breather assembly up top that regulates uh, vacuum to the crankcase. So I'm pulling off its vacuum supply and I am plugging it. I'm just using a uh, generic kind of mount to stick in there. You can use whatever you want. You can use a if you have a big rubber cap, that'll fit this. Or if you have another person, you could even use your thumb. Just something to plug this port off. And then when you start the car, if the car runs well, and it's no longer popping and running terrible like it was, then uh, what you have is a crankcase leak. So then you just pretty much try to find the oil leak, and that'll typically resolve your issue. On these, it's commonly the rear main seal, but it could be a couple other things, but typically it's the rear main seal. But what that what that's doing is it's pretty much if you have a something with a crankcase that's leaking, or let's say the rear main seal, the um, seal sucks off the little plate, then um, you, you're pretty much just having a large vacuum leak. So that's why it's running so poorly. That would explain lean faults and everything else. So now I'm gonna start the car off and um, I'm gonna start the car up. And if it's running well, then we know that it's, uh, it's something to do with a crankcase leak. As you can see, I'm not 100% sure how good it comes through with the video, but the engine's running great now. It's not misfiring any longer. Um, sounds like a normal motor. And you can leave this open while you're, while you're testing this. It's not a problem at all. You just have to make sure that the port on the intake is plugged off. And that's isolating the system. So your intake is now um, functioning like an like a old car with a standard you know, intake manifold that's not attached in any way to the, um, to the crankcase. And um, it's just a diagnostic aid, basically. So right now I know to look for uh, look for large leaks with the intake or with the uh, with the uh, crankcase. On this one, it's probably going to be the rear main seal. And uh, yeah, so that's it. Just a quick tip. Thanks for watching.